Gateshead College's new Baltic campus formally opens today. The new site costs nearly £40 million pounds and will cater for 7,000 students and has 500 staff. The regeneration of Gateshead Quayside stepped up a gear today. Earlier, the new Gateshead College campus opened its doors. Century Today's Katie Helliwell reports. Yes, students and pupils now have a brand new state-of-the-art campus to study in. It doesn't open to them until later this month, but earlier we had a peek at the new £39 million building. It's right by the Sage in Baltic on the quayside. Here's the principal, David Cheatham. The Sage is a fantastic development. The Baltic is equally as attractive. The whole of Gator Quayside is modernising. So in maybe five years' time, this will be unrecognisable as the major centre for business in Gateshead and cultural industries, and our students will have this as their campus. Students taking health and beauty, music and performing arts will move from their current home in Durham Road and come here to study. Jill Brown is one of them. It's beautiful, really stunning facilities. If you compare them to what we had at the old site, they're beautiful. The salons are working salons, commercial business, we're really, really privileged. The standard, it's not like being at a, at a college. Much, much nicer. The campus even has its own theatre and health spa. On the 25th of February, the college's new landmark building will open its doors to 7,000 students and 500 staff. Its aim, simply to offer the best possible learning and working environment. It's cost nearly £40 million. It's one of the most modern and high-tech colleges in the country. Gateshead College has moved into its state-of-the-art Baltic campus on Gateshead Quayside. 7,000 students will arrive in two weeks' time, but today Sharon Barber was allowed in to have a sneak preview. Yes, here we are at the Baltic campus of Gateshead College. It's very exciting, £39 million pounds it's cost, and uh, we're very lucky to be here for a sneak preview. The 7,000 students due to start aren't here yet, so it's nice and quiet. And that means we can have a chat with David Cheatham, who's the principal here. Tell us about the journey to get to where we are today. Uh, good morning, welcome. Um, we started the journey around about 2003, when our Board of Governors had clear plans that... The current building that we have at Durham Road was not fit for purpose and today we're just about 10 days away from opening this building to all of our students who will transfer from Durham Road sometime over February. What's amazing is how close you are to these fantastic buildings like the Sage and the Baltic. How important is that to you that you, you are so close to these buildings? This is going to be the centrepiece of the North East in the next few years. It's a fantastic location. Our students and our staff are very, very lucky to be here. It makes it really another exciting development for Gateshead. Just finally, on a very personal note, you've been through the process for five years. How does it feel today to be standing here saying we're, we're, we're just about ready to open? I'm immensely proud of what the college has achieved. I think the board have been very brave in making this decision. I think our students are going to have a fantastic experience at the college and I think our staff will come to, the, come to work on a daily basis singing and very happy about the facilities that they're going to benefit from. It's a fantastic development in a fantastic area called Gateshead and I hope that we just add to its reputation and profile as a community that makes a difference. Gateshead College is unveiling its new site today. The Baltic campus has cost more than £30 million to build and it'll be home to more than 7,000 students and 500 staff. The building, which sits alongside the Baltic Flour Mill and the Sage Music Centre, has its own 200-seat theatre, salon and spa, training, kitchens and lecture rooms. The development is part of a £60 million redevelopment of all of Gateshead College's facilities. Gateshead College is unveiling its new site today. The Baltic campus has cost more than £30 million to build and it'll be home to more than 7,000 students and 500 staff. The building, which sits alongside the Baltic Flour Mill and the Sage Music Centre, has its own 200-seat theatre, salon and spa, training, kitchens and lecture rooms. The development is part of a £60 million redevelopment of all of Gateshead College's facilities.
A new college campus is adding to the regeneration of Gateshead Quayside, situated next to the Baltic and Sage. The £39 billion building boasts its own health spa and theatre. Jill Brown will be one of 7,000 students starting there later this month. It's beautiful, really stunning facilities. If you compare them to what we had at the old site, they're beautiful. And Principal David Cheatham says it's in a great location. The Sage is a fantastic development. The Baltic is equally as attractive. The whole of Gateshead Quayside is modernising. So in maybe five years' time, this will be unrecognisable as the major centre for business in Gateshead and cultural industries, and our students will have this as their campus. Uh, four minutes to six weather forecast in just a moment, but first it's cost nearly £40 million and it's one of the most modern and high-tech colleges in the country. Gateshead College has moved into its new Baltic campus on the Quayside. David Cheatham, the principal on the new Gateshead campus, spoke to our reporter Sharon Barber. We started the journey around about 2003 when our board of governors had clear plans that the current building that we have at Durham Road was not fit for purpose and today we're just about 10 days away from opening this building to all of our students who will transfer from Durham Road sometime over February. What's amazing is how close you are to these fantastic buildings like the Sage and the Baltic. How important is that to you that you, you are so close to these buildings? This is going to be the centrepiece of the North East in the next few years. It's a fantastic location. Our students and our staff are very, very lucky to be here. It makes it really another exciting development for Gateshead. Just finally, on a very personal note, you've been through the process of five years. How does it feel today to be standing here saying we're, we're just about ready to open? I'm immensely proud of what the college has achieved. I think the board have been very brave in making this decision. I think our students are going to have a fantastic experience at the college and I think our staff will come to, the, come to work on a daily basis singing and very happy about the facilities that they're going to benefit from. It's a fantastic development in a fantastic area called Gateshead and I hope that we just add to its reputation and profile as a community that makes a difference. That's David Cheaton then, the principal on the uh, new Gateshead campus, speaking to our reporter Sharon Barber. Uh Now, it has cost nearly £40 million to build. It's in a prime location and has its own beauty salon, health spa, restaurants, gym and creche. But it's not a luxury hotel. It is, in fact, a college. Staff and students are about to move into Gateshead College's new campus on the quayside. And as Ben Chapman has been finding out, it is rather more lavish than they used to. When you walk into Gateshead College's new building, it hardly feels like a campus. But within a fortnight, these state-of-the-art surroundings will be home to 7,000 students, studying everything from beauty therapy to performing arts. The new facilities mean they can be trained as if they were working in the real world. Here in the early years workshop, kids from local nurseries will be brought in to be taught by students in what feels like a real creche. And here in this real beauty spa, members of the public can come in and use the steam room, the sauna and the pool as the students learn how to treat customers in the real world. The college's beauty therapy students are the first to move into the new building. For many of them, it's their first chance to work in a professional salon. Doing a, a subject such as beauty sciences, you know, you can't sit in a classroom and, and learn what you need to know. You need to relate to clients and you need that practice. And doing it in such a beautiful surrounding is, is fantastic. The new facilities are a far cry from the college's old building on Durham Road. The new campus is a stone's throw from the Baltic and the Sage. Our old building was nearly 55 years old and it was standing the wear and tear of all of those years. Uh, this is a pristine new uh, development, it's got the, the very best teaching facilities and above all it really raises the profile and reputation of Gateshead College. Teachers are hoping the new campus will inspire more youngsters to carry on learning, as long as they don't get too used to the facilities. Ben Chapman, ITV Tynetees, Gateshead.
Going to sign up for a course there. Looks great, What a it? difference to the old building. Yeah, definitely. And it's amazing as well, just actually what's happened on the Gateshead side, because yeah. for such a long time there was nothing there. So very Incredible. Nice. I'm very envious yeah, of all these absolutely. students. Yeah, I tell you, it wasn't like that in our day. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> well, staying in Gateshead, but sort of a bit further down the road, it was... It's cost nearly £40 million and is one of the most modern and high-tech colleges in Britain. Gateshead College has moved into a state-of-the-art Quayside campus just ahead of the arrival of 7,000 students in two weeks. Sharon Barber's been to take a look. It's developed into one of the most stunning and iconic places in the country. And today we were allowed inside the newest building to go up on Gateshead's Quayside. We started the journey around about 2003 when our Board of Governors had clear plans that the current building that we have at Durham Road was not fit for purpose and today we're just about 10 days away from opening this building to all of our students who will transfer. <laughs> oh sorry about that, that wasn't meant to happen was it? We'll try and bring it back later if we have time.